With our Bibles in hand, let us turn to Mark chapter 10 for our scripture reading. Mark chapter 10, we'll be reading verses 45 through 52. Have you found it? The Bible says, verse 45, For even the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister. And he gave his life as a ransom for many. And they came to Jericho, and as he went out of Jericho with his disciples and a great number of people, blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, sat by the highway side begging. Yes, sir. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And many charged him that he should hold his peace, but he carried the more a great deal. Thou son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called, and they called the blind man, saying unto him, Be of good comfort, rise, he calleth thee. And he, casting away his garment, rose and came to Jesus. And Jesus answered and said unto him, What wilt thou do, what wilt thou that I should do unto thee? The blind man said unto him, Lord, that I may receive my sight. Jesus said unto him, Go thy way, thy faith has made thee whole. And immediately he received his sight. And follow Jesus in the way. Amen. Amen. Shall we bow our heads for prayer? Eternal Father, we humbly bow before you, for you've said in your word, and it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken off from thy shoulder and his yoke from off of thy neck, and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Father in heaven, we bring before you our burdens, we bring before you our ministries and our very lives thanking you, Lord, for the opportunity to pray to you, calling you our Father in Jesus' name. Yes. Father God in heaven, we want to pray that you will pardon us of our sins, and we want to pray that you will baptize us right now with the Holy Spirit in the early and latter rain power. We pray for a manifestation of your wisdom and power through your manservant, Lord God, Dr. Pollard, and we want to pray that the anointing will destroy the yoke, Lord God, that as we leave here, that we'll leave out of here empowered, Lord God and energized by the power of the Holy Spirit. So thank you, Lord God, for what you have done before, what you're doing now, and what you're going to do in the future. In Jesus' name, let everybody say amen. 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 Once again, God has permitted us to assemble here for this annual pastoral evangelistic program. And I say that God is good. Yeah. I am reminded of the, the believers back there. They would always greet each other with this word, Maranatha. Let us say the word together, please. Maranatha, Maranatha. Now turn to the person next to you, and I want you to say, Maranatha. That's a simple reminder that Jesus, the Christ, is on his, he's on his way. So not too long from today, my Jesus and your Jesus will burst the clouds of heaven. Until then, be faithful even unto D-E-A-T-H. What is that? Even unto death. It's a very good friend of mine, Sister Pollard, and she's the most fitting person to introduce the man of God, Dr. Pollard. <laughs> <laughs> well, as you can see, I've been drafted, but nothing gives me more pleasure than to introduce to you the man to whom I've been married for now going on 31 years. We're in our 31st year, and so I will start with the bottom. Uh, usually the spouse is introduced to you at the end. Well, you now have the pleasure of knowing to whom he is married. <laughs> you should also know that he is the king of his castle. He has two daughters, Kristen, who is a practicing attorney in, Atlanta, in uh, Macon, Georgia, and Karen, who is in graduate school pursuing her farm D or her doctorate in pharmacology at Loma Linda University. Both of our daughters are proud graduates of Oakwood University. We were not so privileged. We are graduates of Oakwood College. 
Um, the man that you have come to hear today, I can testify that he's a man of God. Amen. He's a man who has consecrated himself to speak in a word for God. Amen. He has consecrated himself to lead God's people to the kingdom. There's nothing more precious to us than to know that we are able to save a soul for God. There's nothing more precious than knowing that we are able to bring glory to God, and he does that. He's a man of prayer. There's nothing more beautiful than being able to wake up and to see your husband kneeling in prayer. Not just prayer for his family, but prayer for his colleagues in ministry. He has fasted, he has prayed for colleagues in ministry, colleagues who might have lost their way, colleagues who might be playing with the devil and not realizing how precious life is and that if they were to lose their life while committing sin, that all will have been in vain. And so he's a man of prayer. I should, I imagine, tell you a little bit about his bio for those of you who don't know Leslie Nelson Pollard, in case you didn't know that's his middle name, it's Nelson. Uh, but he is also the first African American to earn a PhD in New Testament language and literature, not just in that content area, but the first African American to earn the PhD degree from Andrews University Theological Seminary. Um, he's also a former pastor of this church, and many of the members might be here this morning to hear him. And we were gratified for our time in ministry here at Oakwood, now Oakwood University. He's a leader that is not only blessed with extensive education, but more importantly, 